Hello and welcome to another Squarespace do-it-yourself tutorial. Uh, this one is going to be on how to make an accordion block, basically a custom accordion in Squarespace. Uh, honestly, I'm kind of surprised that with all of the widgets that they have, that Squarespace hasn't uh, just done this so that you can do it out of the box, um, especially since it's pretty common functionality and not that difficult to do, but since they haven't, we'll show you how to do it. Um, I prefer to use jQuery Accordion UI, um, mainly because I do some Drupal work and they've got a pretty handy uh, module for that uh, over there, so I'm familiar with it. Plus, it kind of uh, it kind of works cross browser since it's uh, or kind of works everywhere since it's jQuery based. Um, pretty good support. If you have another Accordion plugin you like, this is basically going to be real similar to the uh, plugin tutorial that I have on how to do jQuery plugins with Squarespace, um, but we'll do a little bit more advanced um, and accordion specific on this one. But I'm going to show you on how to uh, use in the jQuery accordion. If you'd like something else um, and have questions on it, definitely feel free to email me or, you know, hit me up in a comment through YouTube. Um, but for now, we'll do this one. So basically, an accordion is this, um, just lets you nest content, basically. Uh, this one's got some basic different uh, functionalities where you can have either collapsed where one is always going to be open or non-collapsed or one's always going to be open or you can do um, where you can have them all collapsed you can start with them all collapsed you can customize icons um, you can do it where they're not going to all have the same height this auto height it's something that I don't know why they start with it out of the box, but they, that basically says whichever one of these three accordions has the tallest or the, the most content, whichever one's the highest um, or tallest, if you will, they're all going to be that height, which is weird. So I don't know why you would, you would have them um, all that way, but that's what that one means. Um, open on hover. You can have it where you can sort them things like that, but we're just going to do basic accordion. Um, I am going to show you the no auto height and the collapsible just because that's how I like to build them, but that's just me. So this is kind of the tutorial page for accordion. Um, it's jQueryUI.com. They have a ton of different widgets and things that you can build through here, and you could use pretty much all of these on Squarespace, um, but we're just going to show you the accordion one for now. So once you, uh, once you kind of turn around with it and you've got your options that you want down here you can view the source and it'll tell you you know what they do what it does how it's built everything like that so it's pretty handy uh, you'll come over here to you'll click on we're on the we're on the demos page here you'll click on download that'll bring you over here um, you'll want to probably use the stable version uh, legacy versions this one point they're older um, the 1.10.4 and 1.9.2 older um, proven but this has got it's going to accept a little a little more stuff uh, it's going to be a little better cross browser wise and anytime you're using any sort of plugin and you have a choice you're always going to want to use the stable version basically um, when you first come to this page, this toggle all will be selected and it'll want to toss in all of the widgets, all of the everything into one plugin for you. Just to make it a little lighter weight for what we're going to be doing, uh, I'm going to deselect that. You always want core, that's the default jQuery UI functionality. Um, we want accordion. And that's pretty much it. We're not going to do any of this other weird stuff. Um, the other one that's kind of handy is tabs. It behaves almost exactly the same way as accordion, only other than being drop-down accordions. They're button tabs that you can click, kind of like in browser tabs up here. Um, but we're just going to do the accordion. Here you can select some different themes that they have that'll that'll toss different CSS on these, or you can design your own. We're going to do the base um, CSS, and we're just going to design it ourselves in Squarespace, basically. So we'll download, and that will give us this handy um, custom zip, which I've already downloaded and have ready here. Inside that, you'll see a bunch of uh, bunch of things that'll basically duplicate this page. The ones that we're going to want, <coughs> excuse me, the ones that we're going to want is jQuery UI min SCSS or CSS. 
that's the CSS for our minimum theme. If you don't include that when we build the plugin, it's not going to show anything on the page. The functionality will be there, but you'll see nothing, um, which is bad. And we'll want the jQuery UI min JS, which is the actual functionality. But before we do that, let's go to our site. First things first, we're going to make sure we got um, Squarespace or got jQuery hooked into the site. So we'll go to Settings, Advanced, uh, Code Injection, and this is how Squarespace inserts jQuery. So we'll make sure that this is all there. Um, and you can just Google Squarespace jQuery and they'll provide you with this code. And then you'll plug in whatever Google. Um, library for jQuery you want. I like to use 2.1.1. 1.9.2 1 is a very common version. Uh, 1.7 point something is also very common. Uh, this is a little bit newer one, but it does work with the accordions. Notice that up here, when you downloaded it, Stable works with 1.6 plus. Actually, they all do. So if you're using, for some weird reason, a version that's not higher than 1.6, you'll have to change that in order to make this work. But we'll put this code in the code header. And then we'll come and just like uh, in our plugin tutorial, we need to add these plugins to the page or to a page. So I, I always make a plugins page. I usually password protect this as well, just so people can't just randomly stumble into it. So let's add the plugin here. Oops. jQuery UI. Link. And you add in. And I use the min rather than the UIJS, um, just because it's a little more compact and we don't need all of the extended developer functionality of the uh, <coughs> of the main one. So we'll upload that, and then we'll also want to load in our oops, CSS file. And we do that in the same way. There we go. Okay, so open this as a clipboard space. Now we'll have these. We've got to copy the addresses of them. <laughs> copy link address, paste it there. It's basically going to be your site name, your Squarespace site name, not your custom domain name, um, if you use one. But it's your site name, um, forward slash s, forward slash file name, basically. You'll notice that. Um, it's just easier to copy and paste them. So we'll save that so they're in there. And then we'll go to the page that we want to add the accordion to and click on the settings. And we want to load those plugins on the page. You can use the advanced code injection and load them on every page if you're going to be using them on multiple, um, the way that we do, you know, the site-wide jQuery, but we're just going to load them in um, this one page since I'm just using them on this one page. So we're going to load both the um, plugin and the style sheet on this page, and the plugin is script, search, S-C-R, or S-R-C, and then the URL of the plugin that we saved over here. And then we'll do the style sheet. Let's link rel style sheet. href equals fat fingering today. Copy this from over here. And 
There we go. And then we'll also load or we'll call the accordion at the same time. Um, and you can find this in your source over here. So you want to call it exactly the same way that they do, pretty much. You can change this. This is the, the div wrapper that we're going to build in the code block. I like to use classes rather than IDs most of the time. That's just a personal preference. Um, collapsible true means that they're all going to be able to be collapsed. And then we want active false. This is um, something that is not in the tutorial over here. You'll notice they don't have where you can collapse, where they start out all collapsed. Um, this active, if you put a number in here, like one, two, three, four, whatever, that would be which one starts as open. So we're going to start it with none of them open. And then height style is no auto height. You'll notice that over here. Content. Oops. Default. So content will mean that their height to the content. And here's, here's where the height is the same for all of them. It's whatever the tallest one is, which leaves this blank space, which is weird. So height style content will mean that the drop down just ex drops down to whatever this content height is. So make sure we got collapsible true, active false, height style content, uh, whatever div wrapper we're going to use inside of a function, which will load it immediately inside the script. And that'll go on the page that we're adding the accordion to. So now we want to add our accordion, or build our accordion anyways. We use a code block. Div miles equals accordion. And then within this code block, Uh, jQuery UI is dependent on H3 tags to um, this defines what an accordion is. So every H3 is going to be one more um, accordion item within the full accordions uh, content wrapper. And anything that goes after it is going to be what's going to be inside that accordion header. So your H3s are your accordion headers. This is going to be what's inside of it. Rinse and repeat as an example. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got H3s, we've got content, and this doesn't have to be um, a P or a paragraph tag, which means just text. You can have uh, uh, HTML list in there using UL, OL, ordered list, or a numbered list. Um, so bullet points or a numbered bullet point list. You can have divs, you can have kind of whatever. As long as you've got that H3 uh, in there, you're fine. One thing to keep note of, I have done this before where, <coughs> say you've got two paragraphs and I'll, I'll um, show you what this does here. So there I've got two paragraph tags within this H3. And this only I found to happen in Squarespace. I've used this same plugin on uh, WordPress and Drupal and also just in hand-coded sites, and it just does this in Squarespace for some reason, but if we hit apply there, and you notice right now we don't see um, anything, or they, they don't go into accordions anyways. 
So when we go over here, Internet's going slow, but um, you'll notice when I when that actually opens, assuming that I did this all right. Class accordion function. Yes. Oops, no data received. So that didn't work for some reason. So why did that not work? Let's find out. Class equals accordion. So this should should be working. Apply, save. I'm going to pause this and uh, get back when I find out what's going on here. Hang on one second. Okay, I'm back. It's actually just a, a dumb mistake on my part. I uh, had something actually mistyped up here. So um, we're back. This is the function, active, false, collapsible, true, height style. That'll give us where the height of the accordion matches the content. They'll all start as collapsed, and you don't always have to have one open, um, which is nice. So on save, here's what we get. So we've got our three accordions, and this is just the default theming because we haven't done anything with it yet. And notice this one down here. What the fuck is going on with that? Excuse my language, YouTube, sorry. Uh, so that is, remember where I said, for some reason, only in Squarespace, or at least what I found only in Squarespace, normally jQuery UI runs off H3 tags, um, but here we've got P tags, two of them, and this last one is turning into the accordion header. So actually what I think happens, and I haven't really tested this to find out, I think every other tag inside this class accordion, so wouldn't matter what this tag is, what this tag is, what this tag is, every other one is going to be an accordion. So you could get crafty and just put each accordion inside, or put a div around this P and have whatever classes you wanted inside that div. Um, if you want to do that, that's actually the way that they do it here. So that way they can have like multiple things inside one. So you can do that as well. You can play around with whatever works best for you, but this will get it done for you at least. So we've got that, you notice, Oh, this one, I didn't do this. If you hit refresh, it'll kick back to your accordion part. So let's refresh this. And we're going to want to do some theming on this just to make it look a little cooler. That, and I don't like this big focus thing that they do all the time. So we'll use our inspector, and we do this with right click um, inspect in Chrome. It's a really handy deal. Um, so if you right click on the element that you want to inspect, it will automatically jump to the right spot. So this accordion is great. UI accordion is the class for all of this. We're going to start with class H3 class UI accordion header. 
so that we can style the headers. And we'll go over here, design, custom. Let's open a new window to make that a little bigger. So we'll go with And let's go font size. Make those a little bigger. Here we can, oops, we don't need that anymore. Let me kick this off. That's a little bit too big. So we'll put 25 M. We've got some padding, which is nice. Let's go with the background. So basically what I'm saying is I want a white background. I want a kind of grayish type. Let's go with, oops, there we go. And some of these you might have to toss an important on um, to get them to work out. Or you could just, or you could just pick different colors and whatnot. Um, For some reason, it tosses two pixels of margin, bottom margin on those for some reason. So we're going to tighten that up a bit. So that's, oh, let's get rid of that focus. So I just kind of know, um, how these things work, but your inspector, here we'll give you all of these styles over here. So these are all the default styles for the header. Um, and if you work at it um, right and come up with the rules, you can pretty much debar, you know, figure out exactly what you need to theme to get it to look however you want um, from there. So this will basically say, show me the active one. Don't put an outline on it. There we go. And then if we wanted to, we could change the um, theming for this here too. That's UI accordion, UI accordion content instead of UI accordion header. Um, another nice thing that we sometimes want to do is a lot of them will have like indicators, um, you know, to show you whether it's open or close. And that's actually something that's pretty easy to do with the jQuery accordion, which is one of the reasons I like it. So let's do something like this and, and add one of those in there. So we're just going to add the indicator and then we're going to custom theme it. There we go. Uh, 
right. So we've got span. And we're going to want to tossing a relative position on that so I can toss an absolute on the span, which will let us go There we go. So tossing the right on there will let us do that. Let's do some inspecting to figure out what else we need here. So another nifty thing about the inspector, if I can fit this all on one screen here. So here I'm on my span, uh, right one in. Two ends, so you can maneuver it, you know, to figure out um, what's going to be the right spacing here. So top, and then we'll notice that that's the wrong way. So we'll go two, let's go 0.5, and then we want to transform, rotate. And degrees. And we'll get the prefixes going on. Transform is a handy thing. It'll take a, what's a normal CSS element and do stuff to it. Um, but a lot of times it needs different prefixes. So web is Safari and Chrome. MS is IE. Mozilla is Firefox. There we go, so we've got arrows the right way, but oh, we want them to change when they're open, so that's really easy. We already have a focus set up, so let's, uh, or yeah, we've already got focus, and this is H3 and means on focus, so we got when we're focusing on our H3, the span inside that H3 is going to rotate. Negative 90 degrees, so it's gonna go up. You can also rotate it to 270 or do something like that. Doesn't really matter. Um, and here's part of the reason we tossed the position on there. So rotate literally rotates it around the top left corner, I believe. So if we just rotated, this would end up over here somewhere. But if we absolutely position it both times, it's going to happen automatic. So you'll never see it repositioning itself. It'll just end up in the right spot on focus. Except for so maybe I might have got a bit ahead of myself with that on focus deal.
So negative 90 is right. So it's not liking the way we are doing the focus for some reason. But I know that this does work. Focus. Maybe I just had the syntax wrong the first time. Oh, you know what it is? So we can't do it on focus, but there's a handy thing that um, the accordions do. Sorry, I completely had a brain fart on this one. So we'll notice that that one has class UI accordion header active. So rather than the on focus, um, which I should have known that, that was my fault, sorry. We're going, and uh, so we've already got H3 UI accordion header. So now we're going to go H3 Let's do a new one here. H3 dot UI accordion header active. And we'll do that span deal. Well, this is being a bit more of a pain in the butt than what I expected. Oh, duh. Have to have the degrees in there. Sorry about that. I got a bit long trying to figure that out. But for those of you, ah, son of a. Recording interactive. Oh, I know why. So we've got, whoops. We had that inside our other H3 tag. That was just my bad. There we go. 90, I swear to God, this time will work. So we were trying to call an H3 UI accordion header active inside of our other H3. Sometimes I can, that's the problem with nesting your styles like that. There we go. So now our uh, things work exactly the way they should. If it knows here, we'll load it over here. There we go. And they're running the way they should. So that is accordions for Squarespace. Sorry, the tutorial got a little bit long. Thanks for sticking with me, uh, and I will see you next time.